Hi everybody, today I'm going to talk to you about Paper Guide. It's a new tool that I really like. Um, I think it has the potential to really help our students, especially our high school students and college students, with managing their research and um, being able to help them when they are doing research and discovering maybe new items that they might not have thought of. Um, it is comparable in some ways to Notebook LM, which I've discussed with you. Um, I like the fact that you can pull in all of your documents, websites, PDFs, and put everything together. And then you sort of build the chatbot from that. So you're making a chatbot that is using your information in it, which I think is a great way to sort of have students using AI um, because we know that the information they're getting is, is proper information, it's good information. And I think it helps students to sort of manage their information better too when they're doing research. So I'm gonna show you some of the features of Paper Guide. Um, it used to be called chat with PDF and there is still the ability to chat with PDF. You can select up to three documents at a time and you can put in your PDFs and it will allow then make a chat bot, which you can then sort of work with, but they've added onto it and they've added this whole reference manager, which I really like. So let me sort of show you some of the features that it has. It has the ability to, when you're putting information in together or when you're asking a chat of it, it always cites where that it got the information from. And when you can click on those and get right back to a document that you've already added, which is very nice. Um, and it also has the ability to search not just your documents, but if you were looking for an open access research paper, um, it has the ability to help you search for those too, which is very nice. It provides summaries of information. It can help you when you're taking notes. You can upload and ask it information. You can easily manage your reference sources by putting in, you can um, add tags and folders and have all this information here. It will allow you to annotate and take notes. Um, it You can organize your folders, you can add labels. I really like this part here where when you upload a document, if you go to AI summary and you go to key concepts, it will provide you with those concepts. And that's very helpful for our students because they struggle at times figuring out what should I search? What search terms should I use? What are the key concepts that we should be looking for? And this gives them that information. Um, you, There's a Chrome extension. It also does a great job with making citations in ALA and MLA and APA and all of those things. So that's very nice too. It will help you with writing your essay and research papers. You could do it all in here. I might not do that because I usually, we usually have our kids using Google Docs, but um, there is the ability to do that in here too, which is nice. So let me show you sort of how this works. Now, oh, one thing I want to tell you about is there is a free version and there is a price version. So the free version is, is offers the ability for you to chat with your documents or, or ch use AI 25 times per day. If you want to pay, it is $9 a month. Um, and that will allow you unlimited AI generations, um, and more storage, and you know a little bit more information and stuff coming with that and then you can see there's advanced one which is more expensive that offers unlimited storage also um because this one only has 10 gigabytes of storage but i think you know either is good 
Um, and I think even with my students, I'll probably be using the um, free, I'll be, will be using the free version just because I don't have the money to cover more. I wish I did. So when you go up here, you can go to my dashboard and you can go to reference manager. And I've already loaded some documents in here so I can sort of show you how this works. So if I look at this document, when I click on it, it pulls up the bibliography for me and it's already done it. So I uploaded this document and it put all this information in here for me. Now I can edit it if I need to, but it will also tell me on the side here if something, if I'm missing some fields and I can edit it that way. Now, what I really like is the ability to do the AI summary. So I can generate a summary that gives me those key concepts that we were talking about, and it gives me information about them. It can also give me highlights of the document. So I can sort of see what this document is. It gives me some of the highlights of what's going on here, and you can sort of see the information there. It will also generate a synopsis for me of sort of some of the more important information and a summary. So if you look here and we go down here, you'll see that I can generate a summary where it talks about some of the key concepts that are in this document, key sections, key information, and gives me a conclusion. That's really nice to be able to have that. And it's all right here for you. And then I could go to the PDF and I could highlight information and add some notes if I wanted. And I could add a note right there to it. Um, and it allows me to do it in color codes and all of that. And I could ask AI about this document if I wanted, but you can see that you have the ability right there to do that. I can go back to my dashboard and my reference manager, and let me show you sort of how to add something to it. Now in the top here, I can upload a URL. I can search for papers online. So this is really nice. So if I wanted to do a key concept, so this one is about special ed due process hearings. So due process hearings in special education. You will see it's going to search for some papers online. And I can just add it right to my references here to then go look over. So if you look here, You'll see I can add my paper right here to the information. And now I've added it in and I have it that I can use for my references if I want it. I can also upload files. So if you look here, I'm going to select a file. I'm going to go online and I'm going to go in and find a document to upload here. So let me see here for you. Um, we're going to show, I'm going to do it by icon. It just makes it a little easier for me. And I'm going to go down here and I'm going to look at 10 strategies for conflict resolution. So I'm going to upload this document. It'll tell me here that it's been uploaded. I can then go in here to see the document. I could chat with the document. As you see, it pulled in all of the information from the document here. I can still do that AI summary, the notes and all of that. Now, if I wanted to chat, so say I wanted to chat with all of these documents, I can go to my chats here and I can do a new chat and then I do an AI search and I could just look at open access papers or I could do my references. I'm going to ask it to do my references. I'm going to ask me to um, please tell me the process for 
doing a due process uh, special education hearing. And I'm going to ask it. And then you're going to see what's going to come up. So I've asked it this question. It's going through all my documents, all of the resources, researches that I have put in here. And as you see here, it tells me, it provides me with it, but you see it also links to the document. So I can look right here and I could view the paper and the information about what I should be doing. And it's right there for me, which is so nice to be able to have that there. And then I have everything all in once together. It's in, in there. If I wanted to sort of start to write my paper, I could start to do that. But it really has some really great features that I think have the ability to really help our students, especially when they're starting to do research and starting to put together their information to write that paper and write all of that information. Um, if you have any questions, let me know, try it out, see what you think, and let us know if you like Paper Guide. I really do think it has the ability to make things a lot easier for students.